we're going to uh, do a tutorial on digital illustration and uh, this time it's going to be a portrait but it's not going to be like the uh, traditional realistic style of portrait but a very stylish graphic novel type of portrait so um, first we need to do is we're going to introduce you guys on um, the basic tools that we're going to make for this tutorial first of all we're gonna have the polygon laser tool and I will show you how to do it in the, uh, later and uh, second we have the brush and most importantly we're going to have our eyedrop tool so this is our reference right here and this is a go this is the drop that I, uh, that I just did and I scanned it into the computer by starting it what I like to do first is to change the dark uh, brightness and contrast for the draft because I might think that um, the contrast isn't too uh, good, isn't good enough. So what I need to do is doing something like that, and this is the this is the thing. Uh, this is uh, the thing called levels it's under image adjustments but then I've just found out that it doesn't work that nice so I turn it off and I changed another option which is curves we'll see how it works and see if that makes a better look actually I like this one it looks a lot better than before but maybe it can be a little brighter so we're going to choose image adjustment and we're going to do brightness and contrast. Change a little brighter and change the contrast. Oops, too much. Then we'll scale it down. Maybe I would say on this level should be doing correct. Another option is the uh, shadows and highlights. Actually, it works quite good. You can based on your personal interest to change the uh, the brightness and contrast in the way you want, in the way you think that it's going to be clear for you. And then the second thing that we need to do is gonna we're going to create a new layer. We call this layer one. Um, and then we're going to choose our laser uh, polygon laser tool. Going to just scale it in, zoom in. And what we're going to do is we're going to trace the outline. Always remember you're going to work on this level, this, uh, this layer right here. Not on this one, but the one that you just create. this tool is helping you to um, draw out the area to circle the area that you want and this is the time that we're going to use our eyedrop tool to pick whatever you want to paint on this circled area in my case I would like to pick the color um, let's say this so we're going to go back to this one and we're gonna choose our brush tool and start painting on the area that you just circled after you're done deselect and turn off the circled uh, lines and back to your layer Turn off the button layer, which is the uh, the sketch layer, and take a look at the lines, and see if that that works the way you want. If it does, then you can go back and keep going. 